Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome to Movie Night, and tonight we're talking about my top 10 favorite action movies of all time. Hang on, get down! Best special effects ever. Yeah, that intro right there cost $5 million, and it was directed by Michael Bay. So yeah, I don't need this any longer. Set that down, and I'll take off my tactical vest. Okay, so yeah, with all that said, let's make some popcorn and start Movie Night. Good girl. All right, so I got my top 10 action movies picked out, and we're gonna watch a few of these tonight. We can't actually watch all of them because that would be like, 25 plus hours of pure action and adrenaline and my eyeballs can't handle all that I'd pass out and wake up covered in popcorn. So yeah, I'm gonna set those down over <sighs> So yeah, anyway, I got my popcorn ready to go and I got my high drive energy water drink ready to go It's a smooth taste low calories with an energy boost. That's what I'm all about Yeah, high drive energy water is a smooth refreshing energy drink that actually quenches your thirst and you guys know I love energy drinks but this might be my favorite stuff yet. And by the way, this is the honey lemonade flavor. Yeah, this is so good. I drank it before I made it up to the top of the stairs. So yeah, this is the blue raspberry flavor. I haven't tried this out yet. I'm going to do that right now. And by the way, you guys can pick this up at Walmart, Kroger's, and tons of other locations. It has an easy to read label that compares the caffeine to other caffeinated drinks, which is pretty nice. I live off caffeinated beverages. That's how I keep going in life. And this is refreshing and I actually, it's one of my favorite drinks now because when I watch movies, it has the flavor you want, the caffeine you desire, but it also has that quenching ability that you're looking for when you eat salty popcorn. So yeah, with all that said, let me take a sip. So yeah, that's High Drive Energy Water. If you guys want to check that out or try it for yourself sometime, I highly recommend it. Link down below in the description box for more info. And with all that said, it's time to eat some popcorn, drink the rest of this, and watch some action movies and give you my top 10 of all time. Actually, you know what? That's I gotta put the movie in. That was really cool, but in reality, I gotta get up and put the movie in. See, why can't we just have something that literally, like, I can just take the movie and I throw it at the Blu-ray player and it just sucks in there and starts playing? We have remotes, we have all this technology, but yet we still have to get up and walk five feet to the Blu-ray player to put it in. It's anarchy, I tell you. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Wait for it. I love the theme song from Speed. Now, this isn't the number 10 on my list. This is an honorable mention. I like the movie Speed. I think it did a lot of things for the action genre. And it stars Keanu Reeves in a tactical vest, saving Sandra Bullock in a bus that can't go under 50 miles per hour. It's a phenomenal action movie that came out in the mid-1990s. And I like everything about this movie. Now, I didn't put it in my top 10 because, well, I had so many other picks I wanted to put in that top 10. So yeah, honorable mention, Speed. Like, this popcorn tastes like it needs more salt. Like, I'm weird when it comes to popcorn. Like, I don't care about butter, but salt is a necessity. Like, yeah, if I could take the sweat glands from a dragon and take the sodium out of its secretions and put it into my popcorn, that's what I need. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but the number 10 spot on my top 10 action movies of all time is going to be the movie Total Recall. Yeah, take this and put it up your nose and don't stop till you hear the crunch. Uh, terrible Arnold impression. One of my favorite things about the movie Total Recall is this movie is chalk filled with nothing but great, memorable, over the top one liners from Arnold. Yeah, these are the good one liners. If you want the bad ones, go watch the movie Batman and Robin. Ice to meet you. So yeah, the movie Total Recall. It's weird, it's bizarre, it has a woman with three tits in the movie and a little fetus growing out of someone's chest. It's phenomenal. I highly recommend watching it. Put the bunny back in the box. One of the best lines ever given by Nicolas Cage in the next movie up is Con Air about a group of inmates being transported on a plane that take the plane over, things get crazy, 
And uh, Nicolas Cage does things only Nicolas Cage could do in this movie. Oh yeah, and it has Cyrus the Virus in it. Now the movie Con Air is directed by Simon West, but you could tell that the producers of this film were like, yeah, we want that Michael Bay look. Because Michael Bay by this point directed the movie The Rock and Bad Boys, and a lot of his stylistic cues are used in this movie. And I don't know if anyone else noticed that, but that's what I've always gotten from this movie. And for many years when I was younger, I thought this was a Michael Bay movie. So yeah, the movie Con Air. It's testosterone driven, Nicolas Cage on an airplane, kicking ass in a wife beater. Check it out. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Darla was the prom queen. That was my Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage. Okay, doesn't matter. Anyway, the next movie up is a Michael Bay directed movie, and it also stars Nicolas Cage once again. Because any top 10 list with action movies in it need at least two Nicolas Cage movies. That's my motto, and I'm sticking with it. Now, I would say this is probably the best Michael Bay movie he's ever made. Now, I've always liked this movie ever since I remember seeing it for the first time on HBO back in like the mid 1990s. It's about a group of mercenaries who take over Alcatraz Island, and then Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery have to go in and save the day. Phenomenal movie. Yippee ki -yay. This is when Bruce Willis actually gave a shit about being an actor in movies. Nowadays, he's just there for five minutes, gets paid $20 million, and doesn't give a damn. But anyway, back in the 90s, Bruce Willis was the man for action movies. Now, a lot of people might consider the first Die Hard movie the best. But for me, the third movie, Die Hard with a Vengeance, is by far the most entertaining and intriguing. Because as the most adventure, the movie's always moving through the streets of New York. They have Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, they're teamed up, and they have to save the day in New York City against a bad guy who calls himself Simon. So yeah, once again, Bruce Willis plays Detective John McClane in this movie. And my favorite thing about this movie is the original script for this film was actually intended to be something else entirely. But then they took a lot of elements from that script and turned it into a Die Hard film. And I think that did a lot of things for this movie that originally might not have happened. Okay, the next movie up is Casino Royale, starring Daniel Craig in the rebooted 2006 James Bond movie. Now, I've always liked James Bond. I love Goldeneye, and I like some of the classic movies. But this movie right here kind of got me back into James Bond as a character and showcased how badass this guy really is. Now, one of my favorite things about Casino Royale and why I consider it one of the best action movies ever made is because it has a perfect three-act structure. When you watch this movie, it's almost like you're watching three James Bond movies in one, but they blend them all together so well. What am I talking about? Well, you have act number one has the big action scenes, sets everything up. You have act number two where it has a love story, but it's still intriguing and not too corny or campy or you get bored by it. And then act number three, when he's playing the, uh, the card game and he's trying to save the day, it's subtle, but he's using his wits and his suave style to win over. So it's like all these different movies in one. Dun, 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 dun. That was my whip and my Indiana Jones theme song. Anyway, guys, the next movie up is, well, I could include all three Indiana Jones movies, and I love Temple of Doom. A lot of people say that's the weakest one, but for me, that's the darkest, creepiest one, and he just puts his hand in there, rips out a heart, and it's still beating. I'm like, that is awesome. But the one we're going to go with is the original, and that's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, one of my favorite scenes in this movie is when Indiana Jones is fighting the big bad guy. There's a plane in the background. The propellers are spinning around. Yeah, one thing leads to another, and, well, that guy turns into ketchup. So, yeah, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, phenomenal movie, and it has to be on my top ten list. How can I even make a top 10 action movies of all time list without this movie in there? Yeah, this is a necessity to watch in life. If you're a man, watch this movie at least once before you die. And by the way, here's an example of how much I love this movie. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Leave the fuel and I will spare your lives. Wise words from a wise man named Lord Humongous who ruled the wastelands. And the next movie up is Mad Max Road Warrior. Now, there's three Mad Max movies, and they're coming out with the fourth one starring Tom Hardy. Uh, but my favorite one has always been Road Warrior. It's the most action-packed, adventurous one of the bunch. And the thing about this movie is it's just so bizarre, and it's set in an apocalyptic wasteland where fuel is the most precious commodity left but everyone's driving like these big muscle cars and monster trucks it's like in reality i think everyone would be driving like kias like think about it wouldn't you be driving a four-cylinder kia or like a moped in the post-apocalyptic wastelands if fuel was the most precious commodity and it was running out it, maybe that's just me but then again you can't really be a badass when you're driving a kia around canyon 
It was never about the money, man. It was about us against the system. It was about showing that the human spirit is still alive while everyone else is inching down the freeways in their metal coffins. What is this movie all about? Well, it stars Keanu Reeves as Johnny Utah. Yeah, that's his real name. Don't laugh. Uh, and he plays an undercover FBI agent who has to get into this group of surfers who also rob banks. Yeah, it's kind of a concept that could only exist in the early 1990s. Okay, so the number one movie on my list is Terminator 2 Judgment Day starring Arnold Schwarzenegger who plays a cybernetic organism, once again the T-800, and he's sent back in time to protect John Connor. And speaking of that, let me show you this random clip I made a few years ago impersonating a scene from this movie. Check it out. Jesus, you were gonna kill that guy! Of course, I'm a Terminator. Listen to me very carefully, you can't just go around killing people like that. Why? And uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like watching this movie now. I'm, I'm going to put this movie in. I want to watch it. So yeah, that's my top 10 action movies of all time. And just holding this pile of action movies in my hand, it just makes my testosterone rise. My adrenaline feels like it's going to blow out of the top of my head. And I just want to, I don't know, I just feel like I got to jump out of an airplane and save someone's life. And then turn into a robot and put a bunny back in a box. So anyway, I'm going to set those down before all that happens. And here's my question to you guys, and let me know down below in the comments section. What is your number one favorite action movie of all time? Or what did you think about some of the movies I picked on my top 10 list? And by the way, if you guys want to check out another action-packed top 10 video, I did a special video for the official Lionsgate YouTube channel where I talk about my top 10 favorite Lionsgate action movie scenes of all time. Yeah, I'll put a link to that video down below in the description box. So if you guys want to check that video out, it's located over on Lionsgate's official YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below. Go there, check the video out. And by the way, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts, your opinions down below, and I'll see you next time.